Hello fellow Riven Hunters and welcome back to another Riven review, this time for the Strun. A very powerful weapon, this time I've got two Rivens as well, this is mine. Status chance, multi-shot, critical chance with negative impact. A very strong Riven. My build is Prime Point Blank, Hell's Chamber, my Riven, Blunderbuss, Primed Ravage, Frigid Blast, Contagious Spread, and hunter munitions for those those slash procs. Those really strong slash procs. I've also borrowed a Riven off of Amperu. Mrs. Amperu of game if you in game, sorry, if you'd like to buy this. It's a really strong one. Multi-shot, toxin, damage with negative impact. He's got Prime Point Black, Hell's Chamber, the Riven, Blunderbuss, Prime Ravage, Prime Charge Shell, Toxic Barrage, and Scattering Inferno. These are really, really strong builds, I can't lie. I'm going to start with showing you this this build. This is my Riven. To be fair, I, I, I'm happy with my Riven, but it kind of got nerfed a lot because of status chance and how they changed it for shotguns. But anyway, this is um, my Riven versus that. Got absolutely annihilated, right? Then versus the Nox, I guess. Probably the strongest enemy. It's, it got absolutely destroyed as well. Let's have a look at how it, oh my god, how it performed against the Heavy Gunner. And then versus the Bombard, it absolutely melted him as well. Let's see versus Auditor as well. Probably the weakest element against these Corpus guys is Viral, I believe. It has like a damage penalty. That absolutely melted though. That absolutely melted. So my Riven's pretty good. The reason why it works the way it does is because if you didn't know, Hunter Munitions gives you slash procs on crit. Slash procs ignore armor, which is really strong when combined with viral, because viral reduces enemy max HP. So those two things combine really well at high levels to destroy high level enemies. Then as for Ampera's build, let's show this one off. This is corrosive and heat. So this is slightly different, a slightly different approach. I've obviously got my sentinel applying viral as well, so this might be really strong. Absolutely destroyed that within three shots, okay? Then it just two shot the Nox, one shot that guy, one shot that guy. So you're seeing Ampero's Riven is pretty damn strong, <laughs> even compared to mine. It absolutely annihilated. So the the reasoning behind Ampero's uh, build basically is because the reason why he built it this way is because corrosive strips armor. And he also strips armor now. I believe the maximum armor strip now is 80% or 90%, something like that. It used to be up to 100%. Now it is lower, which means that the faster you can strip this armor, the better. Because you, you, the more armor you strip, the more damage you'll hit. And because the Strun has really high base damage, which on this build it's almost 29,000, with these decent crit stats, you're going to hit really hard if you start stripping the armor. And especially if you can apply viral procs with some other way. That's why corrosive builds are still really good. And and that is why Ampero's Riven is really good. By the way, message him in game again, once again, if you want to buy this Riven. It's really, really good. I'd recommend it highly. Then I've got this build, which is Hunter Munitions and Viral, but without a Riven. So as you're saying, it's got Prime Chilling Grass though. Obviously my build could be improved. I could have Prime Chilling Grasp in there if I really love the weapon. But like right now, this is a temporary Riven for me and I'm trying to get rid of it. So if, if someone would like to buy this, you can buy it. You saw how it performed. It still performs really well. It's still unrolled. It's still very nice. So, and I need Platinum. You're seeing 65 Platinum. Please... Someone help me out because I, I am struggling to make videos with this amount of platinum, man. So I need to make some cells. But Prime Chilling Grass, this build, it's just Hunter Munitions. It's basically the same as my build, but without a ribbon. Let's see how it performs. I believe it performs significantly worse than either of the builds that we just showcased. Let's have a look. Right, so that, I mean, it's, it's not weak. It's not weak by any means. It's just not... As strong as my build or Ampero's. I'd say Ampero's was definitely the best build. Versus the Nox, it's, it's just okay, I'd say. What was that? Like, it uh, took like a few clips to kill. Versus the Heavy Gunner, I mean, pretty good. Still, it still does pretty good. And then versus this guy, let's have a look. It's still, it's not bad. It's not bad. The problem with the Strun is that it has a very slow reload, as you're seeing right now. Which is basically its main Achilles heel. But it's still a really good weapon. Even without the Riven, it's still pretty damn juicy, okay? Anyway, that was the Strun.
very powerful weapon. If you, if anyone loves it, put it down in the comments down below. I, I for sure like it as a weapon. By the way, I'm also doing this new thing where I put a little easter egg in each video of the Riven mod that I'm going to review in the next video. So the first one to find it, if you could timestamp it in the comments down below or, or just whatever, if you find it, then you are a true Riven mod connoisseur. This time you crossed the line.